Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Bali Dukkar aka The Spiritual She Wolf. It has been a long time since I created a video especially talking about tarot or anything spiritual. And if you're new here, hi, what's up, how are you guys doing? I create content around spirituality, mental health and personal development. You can follow me on Instagram at The Spiritual She Wolf for more tarot related content. I have been creating a lot of content on Instagram lately. And if you are a beginner tarot reader, I do have an amazing weekly tarot planner for you guys. The link will be down in the description box. It's free to use so you can just go ahead and download it and use it. And it has a lot of different spreads for different days that you can use. Also, it has a small section for um, a card that pops up all the damn time so you can make a note of that as well and reflect on it later on. If you're interested in something like that, the link will be down in the description box. Make sure you get it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button as well. And make sure you comment something down below like any issue that you're facing while reading Tarot or how is your personal development journey going. I would love to know. And before we get into this video, happy, happy, happy Diwali to you guys. And let me know down below in the comments, how was your Diwali? Um, did you even celebrate it? I know that a lot of people didn't celebrate Diwali, honestly, even my family didn't. I'm just, I've just dressed up. I'm just dolled up for Bhai Dooch, which is today, apparently the day I'm recording this video. Um, we also didn't celebrate Diwali on like a um, high level. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people are struggling with celebrating Diwali as well. Um, I'm always here for you guys if you want to talk to anybody. And make sure that you are talking to at least somebody. You're not alone, okay? Please don't go through all of these issues alone. And just take care of yourself and your family, okay? Let's get into this video. Now, this video actually is just a simple cleansing ritual that I do normally uh, when I get any new crystal in the house or any new tarot deck, I always cleanse it first before using it. Uh, there are a few uh, things that I have not cleansed, but I've already used them. Honestly, I don't mind it, but if you are new to tarot, I would highly suggest to make it a daily, um, not a daily, just a ritual that you do uh, for all the new things that you get because number one, you never know where they come from. Number two, you have no idea how many people have touched that particular uh, thing that you have bought, especially if you're buying something off of Amazon or any e-commerce store just make sure you cleanse it and even if you want to cleanse your makeup you can do that as well if you want to cleanse your books you can do that as well right now in this video i'm just going to focus on my witchy things which is crystals and tarot deck and another deck that i just got yesterday so i'm going to put a link to that reel down in the description box as well because it was so amazing oh my god um okay so let's just get into the cleansing ritual and i'll tell you what all things you need to do it and how you need to do it let's go so the first thing you're gonna need is an incense stick uh today i'm gonna be cleansing with incense smoke so this is something that you would require uh this is my last incense stick and i'm using this for the video because i anyways want to cleanse my deck so i was like let me just record a video uh you're gonna need a matchbox or a lighter or whatever you have uh, i have a lot of things over here uh this is my altar that i recently just set up I, I do have a lot of things over here that can be used in cleansing as well um for example this selenite wand that i have over here but the only thing is that uh i do not use selenite for cleansing uh, i feel that using an incense stick is way better i also have these incense cones here uh, that go on this particular setting and the smoke just flows from here in a very beautiful waterfall setting um but i do not i'm not lighting it up right now you can also cleanse through these incense cones as well so that's not a problem so when you're cleansing you can also use sage sticks this is sage you can also use palo santo if you want uh, i do not use sage because it does not smell very nice and plus it's very like the smell is very strong honestly speaking so I, that's the reason why i do not use sage a lot um so yeah you can also cleanse your whole house with these as well so sage is really good if you want to cleanse a very bigger area but if you want to just cleanse some decks or crystals i think incense is something that you can absolutely use
so i do have a few crystals over here and i have my tarot decks and a few crystals here as well that i need to cleanse now you can see the smoke is already thickened up a bit and so basically there's nothing that you need to chant during all of this time but uh, you can just visualize that the crystal you're cleansing or the deck you're cleansing is getting cleansed or uh, is fresh to use is new to use you know so you can do all of that I recently got this labradorite stone from a trip. I'm just gonna cleanse this. You can see that I'm just holding this in my hand like this and letting the smoke touch it. That's cleansed. It just takes a bit of time. I got this opal ring as well. See that? I have the Shriya Yantra which is used for uh, luck and prosperity and wealth. I have this amazing seven chakra pendulum which is one of the pendulums that I use all the damn time.
the most simple thing that you need to do while cleansing something is just visualize uh, it getting cleaned and one thing I also do is just try to remember and recall the first time I how I felt the first time when I held this particular thing in my hand like the first time I realized its power or I realized or I, I experienced a crystal's power or how I felt if you're not into pendulums you need to get one <laughs> so that is done so I also forgot that I got these three crystal pencils that was from the trip this is tiger's eye the middle one is rhodonite and this is labradorite as usual one of my favorite crystals beautiful right so all I'm gonna do is just hover them above the smoke Beautiful, right? These are very tiny, easy to carry when you're traveling. I feel that Tiger's Eye is one of the most powerful crystals out there. And I feel that it's also very underrated. That people don't really know the real power of tiger's eye so now it's time to cleanse my ethereal visions tarot deck this is a very latest tarot deck that i just got and I've not found the time to actually cleanse it, but I've started to read from it. I do not cleanse the whole box. What I just cleanse are the cards. Why isn't this focusing? Okay, yeah, that's how it that's how they look. Okay. And that's how beautiful they look. So, again, just gonna hover it. So there you go, that is how you cleanse a simple tarot deck. Now this is something that I recently got. The, practical, the practical Witches spell deck. Um, 
it has a small pocket guide and then it has like 100 spell cards see that's how they look these are spells i'm just gonna cleanse this i'm gonna do a small fan motion here Okay, so this is how you basically cleanse all of your witchy items that you have bought. If you have recently bought them, if they have been just lying around for a very long time and you have not used them, make sure you just cleanse them up. There are different methods of cleansing as well. One of them is keeping your tools in moonlight. Basically, it's done for 24 hours. So you keep it in the moonlight for the entire day till it hits the moonlight again. So it's done for 24 hours. You can so you can keep your crystals under, under the moonlight and the sunlight just make sure there are some crystals that might fade away that might have a bit of burning sort of a thing when kept under sunlight so just make sure that does not happen and you keep the correct crystals in the sun and moonlight and you can also cleanse your crystals with water uh, best thing is flowing water honestly if you have a river nearby just go in there just wash your crystals in it and come back because again it's nature and crystals also come from mother earth so that works really nicely other than that you can also keep them in normal water just tap water just maybe you know just power it up a bit uh, just do a simple sigil in it or a spell in it and you can keep them uh, in the water for a while apart from that you can also bury your crystals in salt in rice in um, brown rice and white rice in different things in himalayan salt in pink salt different types of salt as well there are some crystals that are good with uh, normal salt or like sea salt and then himalayan salt then some are good with water some are not good in water so you might want to check that up once i will link some videos down below that you can check it up so that it will be a very good resource for you guys and apart from that for cleansing tarot decks you can put a tiny crystal on them as well so you can use selenite you can use a normal quartz as well so you can just put them on the cards and let it be for a while and that will just cleanse your deck you can also do this what i just did right now with the incense smoke you can use uh, the incense cones that i showed you you can use sage i think for tarot decks it's way better if you just use smoke uh, because obviously you can't use water so just use something that is non-damaging to your material that you're using and these are just a few of the cleansing rituals or cleansing methods that you can use other than that you can always invent your own um, you can also just charge them with your hands if you know reiki you can also do reiki on your uh, tools that you're using it's also very effective so these are some of the methods that i personally have used experimented with and this is a method that i absolutely use all the damn time so if you like it make sure you comment down below about how did it go for you did you try it or not let me know how you feel about it and i think that is it for the video you guys i'll see you in the next video till then just take care of yourself and love you bye